MLG Classics. Welcome back to MLG Classics. Best of the best. I'm Axel Toss, helping you guide through these matches. Of course, uh, we've been watching a lot of epic games so far. Ideally, the best games that we've found, uh, the top 32. We're trying to find out which one is the best. Let's take a look at the bracket. We just saw Boxer versus Rain and Jinro versus Choi. Remember to tweet who you think is should move on to the round of 16. We just saw Idra. Uh, GG out of a game early again, I think. And then up next, we're going to have Cats versus Dragon for the 2013 MLG Spring Championship event. Only one of these matches can move on to the round of 16. Either Idra versus MMA or Cats versus Dragon. So, as you're watching this next game in Cats versus Dragon, make sure you think back on Idra versus MMA and decide which one you think belongs in the round of 16. That being said, without any further ado, I say we get on into Dragon versus Cats. Let's get into it. Aggressive bio line is sensational on this map. Just so, so, so good. But the big open spaces are really give Terrence the pains in the butt. How do Not you deal are. with Zerglings and Roaches and Banelings like swinging in from all angles? Got a micro? Perfectly. That you do. So, ladies and gentlemen, Dragon is known as a bit of a deceiver, which is why he changed his color to confuse the enemy. Chameleon of StarCraft II in the southwest playing Terran. He is Clarity Dragon. Versus his opponent. To the northeast position, currently a one game in this best of three series. Will we say see that same build again or something more sinister? Playing Zerg in the blue trunks, he is Root Cats. Total Biscuit, I'm trying to think of anything more sinister than a hatchet. Your natural. A hatch in the main. Oh my god, that I haven't seen that in so a hatch in the main base. That's that's what cats used to do against Protoss. He did, actually, a long time ago in a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. You know, I like to imagine that cats in terms of learning was building hatches in people's bases in early MLGs, and it's like, oh, that's not working. I need to be more conservative and put it at their natural. Gotta do something like that, but he is the kind of person that would bust out something that ridiculous. Interesting. We are going to see a bit of earlier gas here coming out from Dragon. So, and yeah, like obvi this. yeah, obvious change in style because he's now a little bit worried of the possibility of that build being broken out once again. Now, this build gives him all sorts of wonderful options. He gets to start mining gas pretty early. That means he can open up with, say, a Reaper with the kind of control that Dragon is capable of putting out there. He can do yeah. some damage. He forces the Zerg to have to respond. The annoying thing about that Reaper is, of course, uh -huh. Zerg can't really do anything initially. Yeah, They're just going to kind of wiggle around and hope for the best. I love a fast Reaper on this map for two reasons. One, it's a lot harder for your opponent to build a hatchery or natural expansion. Nah. But the other reason is that you can transition after two Reapers into Command Center at Natural, yep. and then shortly thereafter a Factory, so then you can be going Reaper Hellion. Yes. And that is an excellent, aggressive space control. You're never going to try to run in and kill your opponent. You're just preventing Zerglings from getting out and from getting out too far. So very, very smart move on a map this open. Need those fast units. Well, we're going to see what is usually called the perpetual gas steal here, where you just grab the gas, you cancel, you grab the gas again. Sometimes you let it finish, which the cat's is apparently doing, but you usually cancel it just to keep it safe. It's pretty annoying to deal with. It's especially annoying when you're going against a Reaper opening rather than a Marine opening, because you don't want those Reapers to hang around in the base. You want them out on the map instead. So yeah. that's going to sit there for quite some time. It's going to deny the possibility of a transition into something really funky, something gas heavy. It tends to limit the possibility of even getting like early Hellbats, for instance. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think that that's going to be all going through Cat's mind, because I mean, with this sort of build, you're almost certainly going to see some kind of bio mine play out of the Terran player. Almost invariably, we see a third command center. I mean, sometimes we see another factory and we'll go for blue flame and that sort of thing. But um, I, I mean, you're going to have a pretty good read on your. Ooh, Cat stole the gas. So well, that's cheap. Yeah, he did, uh, and it's going to sit there for quite some time. And again, it's going to limit those possible builds, and it's going to allow him to filter them down. And this Reaper Harass is going to be annoying, of course, against Queens, generally doesn't do much, but Dragon is well aware of that. He can poke away, he can come back every now and again. Ooh, so close. Dragon knows exactly the capabilities of those units, though. He'll be able to back off without too much of a problem here. Yeah. Now, in this position, I mean, we're seeing Zergling Speed getting started for Cats. He's going to be getting an additional Queen to spread creep a bit. Yeah. He's going for a six-minute 
expansion. This is the standard timing after you get Zergling speed up, and you burn all that initial cash on drones. And this is kind of a funky place to put that uh, command center. It's just it's a little interesting, isn't so it? easily scoutable, and yeah. he's wait, and he's getting an armory. I'm I'm not quite so sure this how. This is feel a weird this. one. I mean, the armory, of course, comes down a lot later, and he's going to see that command center. But is he going to see? He's going to scout the armory. No, no, he isn't. He might have scouted the armory. I'm actually kind of surprised he didn't go in a little bit further. But I mean, that armory is really weird because the timing of it, of course, is very strange. He's got the armory off a single gas instead of two which means it's a lot later, but he will have the option of slightly later Hellbats here. You know, I, Hellbats in my eyes are strong because of the timing that they tend yeah, to have. Exactly. If you're going for yeah. fast Hellbats, you're striking right when they're yeah. generally going to be at low tech. You can actually have Zerglings deal with Hellbats reasonably well as long as they can get a good angle on them. There's the Roach Warren going down, so it looks like it's going to be Marauder Hellbat production. Yeah, I said Marauder Hellbat. That's, I mean, that's a nasty push. We saw, of course, Marauder Hellion in Wings of Liberty. Marauder Hellbat is like that, slower, but really ridiculously hard to kill. And it's really hard to deal with. You see, there's the concussive shell coming down right there. So we're clearly going to see that kind of push. Slightly later, not relying on drop play. You see, there's no star port down either. And it's going to have a couple of Reapers backing it up as well. So uh, this could be dangerous if Cats doesn't get a whiff of what it is. But this is a very slow push. Yes, it is. I mean, Hellbats are going to take a long time to get there. We see the space controlling units. And I mean, these numbers are going to get big anyways. Then Cats is going, all right, well, cool. I'll build some roaches, try to hold that off. And that's mm. kind of what Dragon is banking on. Yeah, exactly. Push. If he goes with Heavy Roach, the cool thing about it is he showed the Hellions first. He, did, yeah, he hasn't yeah. shown the Hellbats yet. So if the response is Roach, like that, for instance, nine Roaches, suddenly you find, oh, you know what deals much better with it? Hellbats and Marauders backing it up. They're way more resistant to that. And I think Katz has an idea of what's happening. Oh, oh he's going to he see the Hellbat. It. Oh, he needs and to get the, the Hellbat. Pick off the Hellbat. Those Zerglings can kill that off. He wants to go for the Marauder instead, which is probably not the best idea. He fails to engage either of them. And now we're going to see this aggression coming on the third base. So right now, I mean, no matter how great your counter table looks, at the end of the day, it's just going to be unit count. He can micro these roaches back, he can split them up, and I'm not sure Katz is going to have the most difficult time holding this well, there's off. There's not enough marauders, there's like one, and the second one's half health. And this, now, this was a really bad engagement oh, here. Oh, no, now Dragon's just going to lose everything. He's not even going to kill the Queen, he's not even microing his Hellions anymore. Are they moving up into the natural? No, Dragon's just heading anything. back he's home. And he's, he actually could lose those units. The Lings are coming in behind it. Really great defense there by Katz, but honestly, like, a botched position there. Oh my dragon. They caught us standing. Damn it! How did they work it out? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the shot of our pretty tummies. It, yeah, it was it was great. I Thanks mean, for reminding me. I need to go on a diet. Well, I've I've been doing crunches for when oh, I'm on oh, the beach. Oh. Yeah. Bro, do you even lift? I well, I actually don't really generally go outside. No, Down I on the bottom left. Expect that. Cats. Beginning to do a counter Jeez swing. Oh twice. my god. If my opponent doesn't have tanks, I'm just going to blast down the front door. He doesn't have the best tools to deal with Bane Links. And I mean, even if this fails for cats, look at 22 Zerglings on roof, and he'll easily have enough capacity to begin building extra drones. Is this going to be it? And here it comes. Going to connect through straight through the supply team with the Helded. That's moving into position, but there's so many roaches here. A couple of marauders trying to hide uh -oh. in the book. It's not oh, going to help. Bane Never ending in. stream of death. They're, They're so Oh, oh Cat smashing his way through the bunkers falling. The second bunker taking heavy fire right now. And at this point, there is barely anything the dragon can do. Oh, this is a brutal push for cats. Streaming in a single. Oh, the Zerglings oh, get into no. the main. Anything but that. So it looks like cats storming the front, easily swatted aside the aggressive push from Dragon at the beginning. And in this position, there's just not that much that you can do if you're dragging. Well, every now and again, G G, that happens. G G, ladies and gentlemen, cats obliterates dragon in fine, fine style. Dragon with the botched push. Cats right, takes the 2-0 yeah. victory Very over awful. dragon. Very nicely played. Cute wins. They'll look. Cats from Root Gaming. Streams a lot and stuff. Dragon is going to be knocked out there to the lower bracket. So Katz gets the 2-0. So it's time to vote, guys. Katz versus Dragon or Idra versus MMA. Who will advance on to the round of 16? It's up to you to decide. Get on Twitter. Hashtag MLG. Hashtag Idra versus MMA. Or hashtag Katz versus Dragon. And, of course, um, whoever, whichever one gets the most votes will be advancing on to the round of 16. And you have a long time to vote if you're watching the rebroadcast. 
It's probably around midnight or something. What if I'm watching the rebroadcast? Hello, me in the future. How are you doing today? Um, yeah, this is also going to be on YouTube very quickly as well. So be sure to vote on Twitter whenever you want. Coming up next, I actually don't know. So I would ask Lennox to pop up the bracket really quick so we can see what we have next. Okay. Ooh, a couple good ones. Either Pult. Okay, first we're going to have Pult versus Hyun. Followed by Flash versus Parting, and then of course In Control versus Illusion, and Idra versus Boxer. Guys, you're watching the best of the best MLG classics, trying to find out the best game in MLG StarCraft II history. Stay tuned, more StarCraft II coming up. <laughs> 